Let's see, you have two pot-looking items that weren't stacked. Oh, shit, I did have two water lamps that, that weren't stacked. Okay, whatever. Uh, let's see, never actually did figure out if half of these things were sellable. And for how much. If I remember right, stuff like uh, golem volumes and whatnot sell for quite a bit. Well, uh, let's see. So we have investments, town and shop. So we can unlock the reta retailer, but we don't really want him. We also have like the bargain bin. The iron cash register might not be a bad idea. It's just a 10% uh, increase in profit. Okay, forge is ablaze and ready to craft whatever you may need. So everything is real expensive. Except for these. Oh, okay. So some of these resources, I probably want to go down the um the magic damage route maybe real hard to say i was just really hoping the the weapon tree would be more interesting than this i think we tried claws and they were kind of no good uh how much it doesn't actually oh no it does require resources to even make the bow for the first time let alone upgrade it Oh, same thing with the spear. Okay. Let's see, broom. What? Upgrade my broom? Because, mm -hmm. yeah, broom is not an available route here normally. But I could enchant the broom. Okay, so to upgrade the broom, it's really not that much of a... I mean, it is a damage bonus, but if I remember right, um, it gets expensive and it, like, caps out at something. Like, I, I really wish there was a, a much deeper weapon tree than this game has. It'd be so much more satisfying. Oh, well. Okay, golem cores. At least we'll have, like, a, a bunch of money. Oh, right. It's 100 apiece. Uh, let's see. Gold runes. And I don't even remember what half of these sell for. Well, I can I can adjust the price accordingly. So let's just adjust the price accordingly. Eventually we'll know what the prices are and then I'll just... Then I'll make money. Right now it's just learning. Holy crap, okay, the gold runes are not worth that much. I could not sell it to him, but whatever. Okay, so jack the price of them up. Crystal Rock. Uh, let's do... I'm just gonna sell everything for 100. For starters. And if that's too low, then we'll start cranking it up. Best course of action is go big and work your way down on prices. Eh. Fair enough. I just wanted early cash so I could actually afford uh, afford some things. I want to get 4,000 gold so I can get the 10% 10, 10 discount. Okay, if I remember right, this thing was worth a lot. Let's get rid of the stupid grass. that's not helpful. Wait. He doesn't like the price, but he's gonna buy it anyway. Thanks, sucker! Okay, so the golem... Golem manual... Golem manual? Golem volume is not worth that much. Do... 700. If I remember it, it's worth a ton. Yeah, if I can get if I can get my hands on the um, the iron cash register or whatever. Uh, let's see. If 
then I could potentially, uh, well, that's a 10% increase on profits. And for me, that plus finding out that, you know, the various prices on these things, ish. We'll see. Can I sell? Sell. Sell. Yeah, so I'm definitely undercutting myself hard here. But that's okay. Eventually I'll have more. Okay, what do I have left? You. You. Actually, I probably want to hold on to the golem chisels. Ancient pot I can probably sell. I mean, honestly, I can probably sell all of these. The 300. I think those are cheaper. These are worth a fair bit, if I remember right. Of course, it's getting real late. Ish? We'll see. But again, just trying to grab as much capital as I possibly can. Okay, so those wire tools are worth a lot more. Than I was expecting. Well, do I have anything else I can sell? Let's just sell the chisels. 300 apiece. Those. 200 apiece. 100 apiece. Something like that. I don't know. We'll see. Oh. Make sure we sell that. And then, yeah, we're just going to crank our prices up as we go along. S sell the item. I, I did sell it, right? There's like a weird, uh... There's like a weird time delay on that. It's confusing. Yeah, if I could get up to 4,000, then I know I'll be able to make a weapon tomorrow, too. I'm going to be just shy unless somebody else comes in. Well, I can't always sell stuff in the middle of the dungeon, give or take. But no. Oh well. Okay, so I've made... I've made some money. All of these are popular. We'll see how it goes from here. Because, yeah. We need to... Okay. Thing is, like... Upgrading... Probably we want to upgrade the soldier's short sword. Before the next run. If I can. However, before we do anywhere... Ah, uh, let's do... It's a shop upgrade. That'll save me a amount of money. I mean, if I, if I end up kind of squandering the first day or two... Then that's okay. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna wish... No, do we want to wish list? I could wish list this one, but I could actually go for this. I've already got the whetstones. I just need to get four golem chisels. And that'll give me whatever the special effect is. Let's go for that. Because I, I don't know... I th assume it's like wind, earth, fire, and air? Or lightning or something? I don't know. Unfortunately, because each of those is a linear upgrade, uh, elements almost seem like they either don't matter or you have to like really make up the difference with enchantments. Which doesn't really seem worth it. Okay. I do like the wish list function though. That's going to help a lot. So what's the other thing I want to do? Uh, I don't care too much about claws. Do we go bow? Baseline, we're going to want the bow no matter what. Because if I if I run into trouble on a run, then I, I'm going to want the bow just to keep enemies off my butt. Let's see, I do have that other thing from mid-run. Oh yeah, I did forget about that. Yeah, hopefully the elemental effects on those weapons are worth something. I'm gonna be real sad if they're not. Like if they're if they're completely useless. Because if they are, then I will end up well, I guess we'll find out pretty quick. Oh, rocks. I didn't even notice at first. 
Okay, well, money regardless. And we've got those healing fountains, so I'm not too worried about it. We also do want to uh, load up on some cash so we can get the... Uh, we want to load up on some cash so I can get the the better armor. I think that it just increases my max HP. Okay, so we've already we've already read this. So the dialogue is does not change from floor to floor. Okay, elementals do not worth a flat damage. Just do more and you kill the enemies way faster. So wait, are you saying that I should just go with the flat damage? Because easily could. It's not gonna. It's not going to uh, change too much. Move all. Love the fact that they'll automatically be placed into kind of sort of the best location. At least those are. Okay, so flat damage is the best way to go. It's a shame if that's actually the case. Uh, honestly, I'll be willing to believe you. I was just really hoping that uh, status effects would actually be worthwhile in this game. Un unfortunately, it seems like they kind of... Uh... It seems like they kind of hit, like, a really cool idea with Moonlighter. Like, there's a lot that uh, is right about the game, the gameplay and whatever. It's just the greater mechanics might be... Um... The greater mechanics might be on the shallow side. Ow, really? Yep, damn it. Alright, whatever. That's the sparkly in the pool room. I, like I said, notes are the exact same. Uh, let's see. Quick move all. Uh, there's no point in, uh, in reading those notes a second time around. They don't help me. And there's, there's no point in reading. I mean, do you really want me to read the same note every single time I go into the room? Looks pretty good. Yeah, it does. It's, it's, I think my grump with the, uh, with the weapon trees and whatnot is just, I wish it were deeper so that I'd have more of a reason to, like, look into things. But the whole, like, pure damage versus not pure damage is like, well, guess I'm just gonna go one trick pony on this one. Uh, like, how rad would it be if you could have, like, a cross between, um, Path of Exile and, uh, Moonlighter? I mean, I guess you could just kind of treat Path of Exile like Moonlighter, but I don't think it's really as effective. But, you know, kind of like a randomized dungeon crawler with extreme RPG elements, uh, comboed with, you know, a store to go sell things up, up at. Okay, and I believe this is the same thing, too. They're like moths. Like moths to the flame, I tell ya. These adventurers. So many are attracted to the dungeon. So many to only feel the burn. Luckily, if you pass out in the dungeon from exhaustion or pain, it spits you out. Eventually. It's a messy ordeal. No one really knows what happens. But one eventually wakes up outside the dungeon. Only small traces of slime nearby and, well, any injuries they may have accumulated inside. Yes, some have left the dungeons to never return, but plenty have stuck it out. Many enjoy the thrill of the fight. Many looking for the pay, uh, for that big payday. There really is so much more to these dungeons, though. Let's see, where did the big tree portal go? Oh, uh, did it close? Um. No, it's still there. I don't want to go into the tree rooms, though, because the, uh, the tree dungeon, or the, the forest dungeon, whatever you want to call it, is significantly tougher uh, than what I'm capable of handling right now. It doesn't look like we have to worry about the ghost, either, which is really nice. I really hated that ghost. It just wasn't fun. Oh. Ow. Might die, actually. Uh, it's a good opportunity for a potion. I'm not actually... Okay, good. I 
I kind of hate these guys. I was also at zero HP, which probably isn't good. That was real lucky. But yeah, that hurt a little bit more than I was expecting it would. Come back, that's my stick. I guess an even better example, apart from like uh, Path of Exile, is how rad would it be to have like a a game that plays like um, how rad would it be to have a game that plays like a uh, Wizard of Legend, but kind of crossed with mechanics like this? Oh, that'd be a thing of beauty. I would love that. Okay. Oh, right. That's the other thing I should remember to do. Um. The first tier is stuff that you get to keep, which is kind of important. Uh, let's keep those. What do we sell? We've got some healing potions. Can I... How do I equip it? There we go. Because yeah, I definitely, uh, definitely burnt through some potions there. Okay, let's grab the uh, foundations because they're a lot a lot more useful than otherwise. Yep. I need an upgrade for that shield. It is not good. We might have to make a, an early exit from this one. I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to be able to survive on this floor. Let's see if we get the healing, healing floor or something. Okay, well there's one. I'm so glad that you can just block these guys. Oh. There we go. Makes life a lot easier. And yeah, if we're lucky, we can get the, uh, if we can get the healing pool, that'll help. It's tough to hit those guys, but not impossible. Just take some doing, because they're uh, they fly above your sword hits, which is kind of unfortunate. You think you could do like an upward attack, you know, kind of like a, a jump strike, but this is not that kind of game. Oh, now I'm thinking of Battle Chef Brigade crossed with something like this. That would be that also be beautiful. Okay, invisible enemy. Yeah, people seem to van vanish. Yep, yeah, we've already we've already read these notes. I wish those would go away. Honestly. Oh well. Just be careful. As long as- oh! Ow, ow, ow. As long as I don't go rolling into pits, I'm kind of fine. I think this is why I want to pick up a-, a let me see. We can get rid of the curse on something. Probably maybe should have... Oh. That didn't work out for me in the slightest. I should have gotten rid of the curse on one of the other ones. Well, move this over. Move these over. What else do I have to sell? I can get rid of the iron bars. And I do actually need twigs, as hilarious as it is. I don't need any teeth stone yet. I do wish there was a um, there was a quick flip between chest and uh, and the inventory. That would have that would have been a nice feature to have, just for the sake of convenience. Okay, so we found the exit. I don't know if I care. Uh, we still don't need grasses yet. And we will need hardened steel for something at some point. But we'll see. I can get my HP back. I know this thing um, caps out after a while. I just don't know how fast. It feels like it heals for a lot more than it used to. Oh, 
But maybe that's just my, uh, my perspective on things. Oh, that chest melted. I'd say I'm offended, but I don't really care too much. Okay, what do I get rid of at this point? I have a lot of things that I don't care about. The slime is kind of helpful. Uh, I probably don't need the extra iron bars. I kind of want the empowering crystals. I need more gold runes. If I could disenchant them, that would certainly make my life easier. And I know I'm going to need the, the vines at some point, but I don't remember for what. I don't remember if there's ever anything particularly useful in those barrels. Okay, for now, this will have to do. Ow. Probably worth it. I'm ready for you, creature. Come for me. I guess this is actually one of the reasons why I should probably hold on to sword and shield. Uh, don't know how I'm going to do it, though. Still kind of... Oh, for a second I thought there was an invisible enemy, but no, they were just breaking the uh, the desks as they went by. And nothing really here. Let's see, can't you move stuff around to disenchant them? Only if they're disenchantable. Um, there's there's certain tricks to do it, and I don't have any that, uh, that currently feed into that. Alright. They're like moths. Okay, nope, we've already read this one. <sighs> Repeat journal entries are going to make me annoyed. Especially because I can't just leave. Uh, you know, once you've committed to reading that journal, you are reading that journal. Uh, okay, now we've more or less tapped this pool out. Still, they heal for a lot more HP than I thought they were going to. It's kind of nice. And next level. I'm probably not going to spend too much time on this. Because I know it gets a lot tougher the deeper I go. Sort of. I guess we do have this. One more item is dropped by that strange jelly creature. This one's a little bit more straightforward than the mirror. Similar to our pendants, if, enough gold, uh, if given enough gold, we can portal to safety, but... And this is the big but... The portal remains open after use, meaning... One may travel back to the very spot they departed from. Simply amazing, very convenient. For the time being, let us call it the Catalyst. Quick tip, Catalyst requires quite a bit more gold than our pendants. Okay, 2,000 gold. Um... So, yeah, that requires a fair bit of dosh. We'll do that once we actually have, like, uh, the first tier of gear, probably. Okay. That was a bit on the scary side of things. Okay. So, he's effectively a T4 enemy. That's, that's how we know what and where and who and how. It's really tempting to probably just book it at this point. You serious? Okay, well that's annoying. Uh, play again? Okay, so what do I lose? I lose everything that wasn't in the top. Okay. Nice part is, I can more or less redo the run. I was holding backwards. I was holding backwards! The combat in this game is going to get on my nerves. I'm just gonna die again. Then 
no sense in losing that much so early. And I'm just gonna lose everything that's not the top. But yeah, um, the the spiked flyer thing flew past me and bounced off my shields, quote unquote, but didn't. Um, and instead, uh, and instead hit me from behind. And then, of course, the little bug thing explodes, which I probably should have blocked, maybe. But yeah, I know one strategy with this is to kind of do that first run, get some really expensive things, stack them in the top, and then go from there. Oh well. It's not the end of the world. But yeah, I, I wouldn't... I am seriously holding, like, backwards on the stick sometimes. And it's just like, hmm. Into the pit you go. I'm going to get mad at this game. Fair warning. This, this is one of those games where it's like, it's almost good, so I'm gonna get extra mad at it, because I know that, like, with a little bit more time and, like, um, fiddling. So, here's the thing, I played this in Alpha a while back, and the combat was as clunky and weird as this can be. Uh, you know, more or less, uh, same problems. And it kind of floors me that nothing has changed. just more content, which I guess that doesn't floor me too much, but I, it feels like um, a little bit more polish on the actual, like, um, combat mechanics would have made this game real, really shine. But maybe that's, this is all just coming from a place of, like, I've been playing a lot of Wizard of Legend lately, uh, and so it's very easy to be like, yeah, Wizard of Legend! Um, you know, that, that game has amazing combat and so on and so forth. Eh, Moonlighter. Oh, it's got a cool gameplay loop, but oh, it could be so much more. I hate that. Like, that's that's one curse I have. I can see kind of what um, what a game might have been uh, had, like, more time been spent in an area or something. Because um, I play too many games, and so it's super easy to be like, yeah. You know, I, I've played, I mean, obviously I've played Dark Souls. That kind of sets the um, the gold standard for uh, good action action RPG combat. Though, I guess at this point, I'd almost say, um, I would almost say God of War has dethroned it. So going from games like that where, like, everything feels good and tight and whatever to something that's a little bit more indistinct is always super jarring. See, when am I doing a pride hard mode run of Wizard of Legend? When I'm good at the game? Probably never. I'm not... Part of it is also I'm not like, uh... I don't like being really good at games, because that usually takes like an inordinate amount of time. Like, the amount of time and skill required to be top tier for, like, any game is more than I'm generally willing to put in. Especially for, you know, games like Wizard of Legend, which I'll point to repeatedly as, like, awesome games, but also uh, admit that I'm never going to be one of the best available, just because. So there is a diagonal roll, it's just really hard to pull off. Okay, inventory's getting a bit full. Let's lose the Teeth Stone. Because I will need them, but I don't need them yet. You wonder has a high skill gain, low skill cap. Yes, pretty much. I can get a really high skill cap on certain games, um, but it's only if I really care to get there. And most of the time, I'm more interested in just having fun than like actually being good at it. But no, I think that is actually a, a perfect summation of who I am. Because, like, I will play games with friends and more or less instantly pick them up. Uh, and then, like, crush people. But when it comes time to, like, you know, 30 episodes in and everybody's actually had the time to catch up to me, yeah, then I'm not actually very good. Uh, and I'm fine with that, honestly. Most games never require you to hit, like, peak skill cap. Um, but I find oftentimes I'll play, play a game and I'm like, yeah, you know, the, the first uh, three quarters of this series is 
is nice and actually works out real real well. And then um, then I get to the the like final final chapter, final couple of levels, and I'm like, well, this is bullshit because it's asking for 110, 110 uh, percent, and I'm I'm mostly willing to give about 90 before I I kind of check out and lose lose interest in a game. It doesn't help that I play like an insane amount of games to begin with. So, oh, whoa, okay, that worked out. Um, did that other guy just kill himself? I think he did. I think he just, he, he either fell into the pit or something. Oh, okay. We got some options here and I've got to clear this out. Let's see. I've got mysteries. I need the whetstones, but I have some whetstones back at home. So it's more important that I just get rid of them. Oh, right. It's this one. But yeah, I don't know. I'm just a guy that likes to have fun in games. I don't, I don't care too much to like go way out of my way to be like supreme master of game. Uh, let's switch these out. I know I need um actually let's put that instead of the broken swords. I know I need more of the uh, the iron bars, but money is also very helpful. Did I? I took damage from that early. Oh, this is going to be bullshit. We're going to need one of these. We might need two. We'll see. This is not a good room to fight this sucker. But I guess it's not the end of the world. Okay. Do we head back? No, probably not. I'm only just hitting the second floor. Does that last room hurt? Ow. God damn it. Sometimes, sometimes, uh, like the enemy. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna head back after this. I am I am losing it a little bit. Plus, inventory just got really, really full. So, what can I sort? What is cursed that can be un uh, that can be stacked? Not much, actually. Get rid of some of these for a second. Okay. So I've got this. That's that's a good haul. Only got one of these. Uh, let's see, move these over. Grab that. Is that better? I guess we might as well grab the extra enchanting crystals. But I'm I'm not in a position to enchant anyway. Yeah, let's just go back. This is a decent haul. And I'm not gonna get more of this, because, yeah, those don't stack. And I could get some cheaper health potions. Let's do that, actually. This this will save me some money. More than the ancient pot, pot is worth, certainly. We do also have some stuff in here. Do I get rid of? And I could get rid of the broken swords. Let's get rid of the broken swords from, for some extra carrying capacity at the very least. Uh, let's see. This might just end up with some extra vines, but still. I'll take the, uh, I'll take the, no, not vines. A twig. That's okay, I think I actually needed the twig. Oh, I need, I need more than just a twig. And the rest of the vines aren't worth anything. Let's see, is there a big update or anything since Wanda's playing this again? Yeah, the game's coming out. Though, I'm still, I still feel kind of like, uh, I wish they had taken some more time and, like, 
really, uh, really made it, like, deeper. Oh, well. Alright, uh, let's... Let's go offload everything that's actually useful. That should be good enough. I think I need more twigs, but I'll live. If I remember right, this isn't... that's too much. Let's see. People really like 300 on these, so that's fine. Okay, let's make some money. Upgrade before I open the shop. Unfortunately, I don't have the, um... I don't have the capital to upgrade what I want. So we'll have to do that after. I might have actually made him a... I probably should have actually checked my wish list to see what I needed. Whatever, it's not a big deal. I mean, if I don't get the upgrade tonight, then we'll just get it on the next one. I mean, we can't always just buy that new guy. Or have the leftover funds. Okay, uh, let's see. I think those so sold for a lot more. Okay. So people really like 100. Oops. Why does it reset my cursor position? I don't like that. Okay, and people like the, the price on that one. And nobody's bought this one yet. You seem to be nailing the prices right on the nose. Well, part of it is I have played this before, so I kind of remember what the prices are. Kinda. Nice part is we also have like a much wider variety of resources. Uh, so it's going to be a lot easier for me to... Nope. Okay, so the hardened steel can be sold for even more. Um, let me see. What am I, what am I thinking? Sell that. Good merchant. Let's see, we have these golem cores. I'm fairly certain a lot of these sell for a lot more than what I've got. Okay, so we don't know about this one. People don't like a hundred for the nuggets. So let's do 70. Let's do 75. Because if they're willing to buy it for a hundred, that's fine. If I remember right though, the gold runes can be sold for a lot more. Do 300. Try 125 on these. I don't entirely know what the arrows mean. So I guess we'll find out. Okay. But yeah, right now it's just kind of more important for me to get the money. And then for the next run, then I'll know I have enough that I can afford the upgrades ish. 350 for the runes. Okay, well, people don't like the pot price. So I guess let's dump that down to 150. And yeah, what I want to do is find the upper limit of normal ish for these things. Arrows meant reputation popularity change. Yeah, maybe. Could be. I mean, if it says up, I can probably raise the price a little bit at the very least. So let's try 125 for those water spheres. Let's see. People like that price. People liked that price. We could try... Let's try going up to 350 for this. Let's see what the upper limit of, uh, of what I can get for some of these things. Okay, Ancient Pot is good. Gold Runes are good. Let's 
Well, we're going to be able to afford, like, three things this time around, probably. If I have the uh, resources stocked for it. Which I don't. I most definitely don't have the resources uh, stocked to buy, like, multiple weapons and armor and some other things. But that's okay. Now, the other thing we might want to do is also, well, kind of alternate. Because we have to look into popularity, but I, I guess the popularity of everything kind of went up. So I don't have to worry about it too much. I just remember uh, playing previously, and the, um... Oh, it was just some water essence. Okay. Uh, the, po the popularity of stuff, like, more or less sank like a rock. It was kind of awful. Okay, so what can we get? So I can't get any armor. I like the idea of the speed. We'll see. Okay. So let's let's go for pure damage on this. Can I make anything? I think I'm just shy on every account. Well, do we want bow? Probably. We want spear. Yeah, I could go for the fabric bandana. A little bit of health reduction, but speed. I feel like I should go pure speed. I don't know if that it includes attack speed, though, which is kind of unfortunate. Okay, well, let's go back in. Let's just dump everything off. And then let's let's make sure we have what we need. It'd be nice if I could actually have, like, a, a wish list that I could pull up in here. Because notebook... Yeah, selling weapons. I forgot I can sell weapons in this game. Golem, forest, desert, tech. Oh, here we go. Uh, this way we can actually... This way we can see, so perfect. There's also a calendar, but... I don't know if there's actually calendar events... ...that I need to care about. Okay. Town investments. We do have Liver ta Taylor. Sure. Cannot request this character during the night. What? Okay. And that's a little bit on the expensive side. So let's let's buy the comfy bed. And I'm not gonna get the shop level two, because I want to get upgrades. 